Is America a Christian nation? The big topic last night was foreign policy. So many of the analysts said that Newt Gingrich and Mitt Romney had a good night. Ron Paul, of course, this is the area where many people go, huh? <laughs> is if another country does to us what we do others, we're not going to like it very much. So I would say that maybe we ought to consider a golden rule in, uh, in foreign policy. Don't do to other nations what we don't want to have them do to us. So we... Andrew Jackson had a pretty clear-cut idea about America's enemies. Kill them. I believe, I believe that when Jesus said, you have to love your enemy, you love your enemy? I love them in the sense that I want to destroy them. I don't I think that's the one them. Jesus was talking about. I want them to see. <laughs> hey, hey, um, you know, that's kind of like a, a, getting out there on, on the playground, a bunch of kids ready to fight, and, and one of the kids saying, go ahead, punch me in the face, and I'm not going to retaliate. Go ahead and do what you want to with me. No, it's unacceptable. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and, and my Savior. I placed my trust in Jesus when I submitted myself to His will. Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount? A passage that is so radical that it's doubtful that our own Defense Department would survive its application. We I believe that God wants everybody to be free. And that's one part of my foreign policy. This crusade, this war on terrorism. Uh, the right thing for Osama bin Laden was the bullet in the, in the head that he received. Some soldiers call them Jesus rifles. That's because the sights on their guns contain a secret coded reference to New Testament passages about Jesus Christ. Any complaints raised about this were obviously from those who were, and I quote, not Christian. Hope you're enjoying your war profits. By the military-industrial complex, we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. Economic, political, even spirit. You know what? This is a Christian nation. And they want to kill us because of who we are and what we stand for. We endlessly bomb these countries and then we wonder why they get upset with us. And we stand for American exceptionalism. We had been killing hundreds of thousands of Iraqis for 10 years. We stand for freedom and opportunity for everybody around the world. And I am not ashamed to do that. Iran will not get a nuclear weapon because the world will be no more. Fundamentalist Christians have had their finger on the fucking button. Tell me when, Lord. Tell me when. Just like we did in Iraq. Build up the war propaganda. There was no Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And they had nuclear weapons and we had to go in. I'm sure you supported that war as well. This country doesn't need another war. We need to quit the ones we're in. We need to save the money and bring our troops home. I am convinced it is my duty I owe to both God and country.